All right, so we're gonna go over some of the pelvic bony landmarks that you'll need to know. Um, so we just have our complete pelvis here, our pelvic girdle. So first we're gonna look at the greater slash false pelvis. So that's gonna be from the pelvic inlet and up, so superior of the pelvic inlet. And the lesser pelvis slash the true pelvis is gonna be within below, so inferior to the pelvic inlet. And that's gonna contain all of your reproductive organs, um, your bladder, your colon, um, all of those. So if we look more specifically at the um, hip bone itself, you have your acetabulum right here. This is where your femur, let me find a good femur. This is where your femur goes right into, creates that ball and socket joint. And on our acetabulum, we have down at this part right here, this is called your acetabular notch right there. So acetabulum, acetabular notch. Now if we look at the ilium, which is the big part up here, we have a structure called the wing or the ala of the ilium. Um, so that's gonna be on the medial surface. So that's gonna be this side, the side facing all of your organs. And then on the lateral side, so the exterior side, you're gonna have the wing or the ala of the gluteal surface. So that's gonna be out here where all your gluteal muscles are gonna connect. And then if we look on the more posterior side, you have what's called the greater sciatic notch, which is right here. This is where your sciatic nerve runs right through. And then just inferior to that, you also have your lesser sciatic notch, which is right here. So greater, more superior, and a lot bigger, lesser, inferior, and a lot smaller. Um, we also have what's called the body of the ilium. So you have your wing all right here, and then right below, you have your body right there. Now if we look on the interior side, so facing your organs, you have this curve right here, and this is called your arcuate line right there. Arcuate translates to bow or something, like a curved bow, so it's kind of like the curve of a bow right here. So that's your arcuate line. Now if we move on to your ischium, which is gonna be on more of the inferior side of your pelvis. You have your ischial spine, which is this little part right here, your little spine sticking out. Then more inferior, we have the ischial tuberosity. That's like your sits bone, so that's where all of your hamstrings are gonna attach to. We also have the body of the ischium, which is going to be right here. So you have the body of the ilium right here, and then the body of the ischium more on the central part of the, um, of the hip bone. We also have the ramus of the ischium, and that's gonna be this curved part down here. So that's kind of, you have your ischial spine, ischial tuberosity, and then you have your ramus. Okay, and then moving on to the pubis, which is right here. You have your obturator crest, which is gonna be, let me double check. That's going to be on the side with the acetabulum, and that's going to be this crest right here. Then we have your pubic tubercle, which is going to be this part right here. And if you look on our pelvis model right here, your pubic tubercles are going to be on either side of your pubic synthesis right here. Yeah, sorry, it's not the best angle because it's hanging down. Now we also have ramus, rami for the pubic bone as well as for the ischium. So the ischial ramus is right here, and then you have two rami for the pubis. So you have the superior ramus, which is this bone right here, and then you have your inferior pubic ramus, which is right down here. And then last but not least, we have what is called the pectin pubis, which is the pectineal line. That's when you, where your pectineus attaches, and it's gonna be on this side. So your obturator crest is going to be on the side with the acetabulum, and then your pectin pubis is going to be on the side facing your organs.